So my name's Ian Morrison. We're here in the Whistler Bike Park. When you get up here, there is many different steps. I think we have some good tip in here for you today, eh? This is Bear Cub. Previous speed records right around 85 kilometers an hour. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna try and bump that number up a little bit, see if we can't get her close to the 90s. Maybe even into the 90s if we're lucky. Speed. Triple zeros. I forgot to hit record again. Oh, dude, serious? Hit the GoPro this time, though. You know, 50 50. So, like, I'm back in high school. Uh, she was fast, though. I'd, I'd probably say minimum 89. We could have clipped 90 on that. Yep. You know, when it starts to vibrate so much, you can't really see the dirt anymore. You know, you're going fast. A line. I mean, what can't you say about A-Line or what can you say that hasn't been said? If you don't really know what A-Line is, you probably don't even really know what mountain biking is at this point because A-Line's it, you know? It doesn't matter where you live, you know what A-Line is. If someone says it, you're like, oh, that's that trail in Whistler, that's super dope. I want to ride that one day. That's this trail, and that's what we're going to go ride. Do you just find five bucks? Five bucks, baby, first take. It's going to be a good day. This move, man, it's make me like 6.9 maybe even like 42.0% faster down the track, eh? So the reason we're explaining what a scrub is is because there's a lot of people out there, they get to a certain speed on jump trails and all of a sudden it's so hard to control where you're landing. So the idea with this is you're starting on the far side of the trail, carving up the takeoff to stay low, maintain your speed and not overshoot. <laughs> This is the A-Line Moon Booter. This is a dope feature because the takeoff is massive. It's a nice smooth transition into there. Great place to practice your lips or your straight airs. That's like running into a wall. You're coming downhill, you go over the roller, you're just staring straight up and then you basically just go as far as you want because that landing goes for nearly ever. Talking little talcum powder there. That's great. Great. Get a little turn down. Oh yeah. So when you're talking about afternoon delight, you're just talking about like fairly easy black technical trail, a little bit of line choice, a couple of little rooty sections, nothing too technical, not super steep. Great place to kind of start out if you're getting a wizard and you're not too sure on where your ability level is on the black tech. Get in there, play around, super fun trail. I'm a big fan. After Afternoon Delight, you're gonna make your way across the ski run over to Detroit Rock City. This is Detroit Rock City. This is a rock roll. This is a blind rock roll. You can tell because of the way it is. Starts up there, rolls over nice and long, gets a little steeper right at the end. Tends to get really troughed out on the right hand side, so if you stay a little bit left and use that whole corner at the bottom, she's money. If you get caught in the trough, she's not money. No money, sans bueno. Oh, Dirt Merchant, it's kind of like A-Line on steroids. 
Got a little bit more playful terrain, kind of like some little berm presses, some shark fins per se, a uh, couple step ups, good flow. And then down lower, you kind of have an option line between Rutabaga or Dirt Merchant Pro Line. Pro Line, you're gonna have a couple bigger drops, that big hip, super fun. Not many other features like that in the bike park, so that's kind of cool to go check that out. Great time, love Dirt Merchant. I look at myself in the mirror and get starstruck. I look at my face with a beard and I remember I was clean cut. Thanks so many years, it's time to lose this cut. Open my wallet in the morning. Instead of just being in a straight line, it goes side to side. Natural, a couple little hips, a little bit more playful. You know, you get some natural shark fins. The good stuff. Was it just a figure of speech? And this is me falling a little short of my potential to be. We're looking at my favorite corner in the Worcester Bike Park at the moment, located on the lower section of Canadian Open, right underneath the chair. So if you can hit it right, everyone knows you know how to corner. Uh, nice steep finish on it, so you can really just lean into her, let her back hold you in there nice and tight. It's good. I like it. I wish there was more like it, to be honest. That's the way she goes though. Not all corners can be perfect. Not everything's created equally. Hi, my name is Ian Morrison. That was uh, that was some laps in the Whistler Bike Park. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself as much as I did, because mate, it was a bloody great time. Lifts, rights, you know, a couple beams, couple jams, couple tables, couple whips. But dude, I just want to say uh, thank you and have a great evening. Eh? I'll see you later.